You want to get Forge for Minecraft 1.21.7? First thing first, you need to download some Forge mods. Now, there's two main places to do this, Curse Forge and Modernth. You can find these by Googling Minecraft mod downloads or by going to the description down below where we have links to both of these websites. Now, when you're on these sites, you want to make sure you're filtering for Forge and 1.21.7. Otherwise, this won't work. You need to make sure you're getting these specific versions. Now, we're going to be installing Waystones here, but there's something to note about Waystones. It requires balm. We can confirm this by going to Files here, finding the Forge 1.21.7 version, and then we can go to Related Projects, and then we can see Balm is a required dependency. So I'm going to go ahead and download Waystones here, which we will need to keep or save, as well as download Balm, because again, this is required for Waystones to work. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this version here. And while this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH, to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGH. Nevertheless, we can now download mods from Modernth as well, making sure we are filtering for 1.21.7 and the Forge mod loader. You can download any of these and they will work and be installed the exact same way as any other Forge mod. So we come in here, for example, and grab simple voice chat. We're not going on any service or anything, so there's necessarily no reason to grab this, but you could go in here and download this version, making sure you're getting that 1.21.7 Forge version. And uh, yeah, there you go. And it is worth noting that this is for Forge, not NeoForge. Those mods will not work together. They are completely separate, so keep that in mind. Now, with that being said, we do need to download Forge as well. There is, of course, a link to get Forge in the description down below. And you can also search for Minecraft Forge Download, whatever is easier for you. And then we want to find the 1.21.7 version. So we want to make sure that is selected on the left-hand side. Then come under Download Latest, click on Installer here, and it will take us off to where you want to wait about 10 seconds. Do not click a single button on this page until 10 seconds have passed, just put your hands in the air and wait. And then, after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. Go ahead and click that red skip button, and then it will go ahead and start downloading Forge. Meaning to keep or save it, and again, make sure Forge is in the title there, and we are going to save this file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is move everything to the desktop that we've downloaded. That's our mods and Forge. Once we've done that, we can close out of the downloads folder and we're going to be starting off with the forge installer file here because we need to get that up and running before we can install our mods. Now, to install forge, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and it will open the forge installer. If you don't have Java, you just need to download it from the description down below. There's an in-depth guide. You can also Google Java 21 download and download this here. However, this is an in-depth guide to get it for specifically Minecraft mods. We also have a link to the jar fix, which is sometimes needed after you get Java, but get Java first. Nonetheless, with the Forge installer open, we can click on Install Client here and click OK. The reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both are closed. You also want to make sure that Minecraft 1.21.7 has been played before. If you've never played it, this won't install as well, so just open it to the main menu and close out of it. But as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge. We can click OK and delete the Forge installer because now we just need to install our mods. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and we can do this without even opening Minecraft, save us a little bit of time. And to do that, just go to Installations up here at the top, make sure Modded is checked, and you should have this Forge installation. Hover over it, click the folder icon that appears, and there should be a Mods folder. If not, go ahead and make one, right? Just create a new folder and title that folder Mods, M-O-D-S. Now, all we've got to do is drag and drop Waystones and Balm or any Forge mods you want to install directly into this Mods folder. Once you've done that, they're installed. As long as they're for Forge 1.21.7, they will now work in game, and we can go ahead and play Minecraft using Forge. So just hover over it, click play, click play again, and once we're in game, we'll easily be able to see that the mods we've installed are in fact installed and working. The reason it's so easy to see if your mods are installed, we can go here to the mod section and see that both Waystones and Balm are in here and working. Awesome stuff. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now know how to add mods to Minecraft using Forge in 1.21.7. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.